Hey guys, so today I'll be reading this book called Planets. Today that I'm going to be reading this book, why I'm going to be reading this book, is for my teacher. So, yeah, you're reading this book. So, let's get started. Circle, circle in the sky. You're bright enough to catch my eye. You're not a star, but a place where gas and rocks swirl in space. When you look up high in the sky, the night sky, you might see lots of bright lights. Most of these are lights and stars, are stars. Most stars have planets moving around them. Planets are round objects that orbit a star. They don't create their own light. They only reflect light from stars. The sun. The sun is our star. Our planet, Earth, orbits the sun. The sun makes a lot of heat and light. It's the, surf, the, it's the surface. It's about 100 times hotter than a summer day. Sheesh. It's also very big. One million Earths could fit inside the sun. Jesus, that's a lot of Earths. Our solar system. Our sun and earth are part of what of what we call our solar system. There are eight big planets and five small dwarf planets in the solar system. Each planet orbits the sun. The sun the 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 sun. The strong pull of the sun's gravity holds the planets in orbit, which keeps them away from floating. Away gravity is the same force that makes a baseball fall to the ground when you drop it. Mercury, and Mercury Venus, Earth, and Mars are hotter part, are in the hotter part of our solar system. These planets are the four closest to the sun. They are made of rock and metal. Beyond the inner planets, there are four gas giants. There are Jupiter, Sans, Jupiter, Saturn, um, what is another word for this word? Um, your Uranus, yeah. Uranus, not the other word. Jupiter, Saturn, and your Uranus. Your Isthmus and Neptune, these huge planets, are made of big clouds of gas and liquid. Gravity pulls the gas and liquid into a planet shape. All gas giants have rings. The rings are mo made mostly of ice and dust. So the planets, one, some of the planets are made of ice and dust. That's pretty cool. Dwarf planets and are planet-like objects. They are part of our solar system. They are much smaller than regular planets. A dwarf planet can be round or egg-shaped. Unlike 
regular planets, dwarf planets may share their orbits with other space objects. These planets are really out of this world. Uranus has the weirdest spin, Neptune, the windiest weather, Jupiter, the long, longest lasting storm, Venus, the hottest planet, Mars, tallest mountain. And look, literally Mount um, Olympus Mons is literally, ta um, literally taller than Mount Everest. Look how cool is that. Let's go to the next page. After all, the sun. Some planets like Earth have moons that travel with them. Moons are objects made of ice and, or rock that orbit a planet some planets have no moons. Some have many. Jupiter has more than 60 moons. Sheesh, that's a lot of moons, Jupiter. Saturn has a giant moon. Call it Titan. It is one of the largest moons in the solar system. It is even bigger than the planet Mercury. Jeez, that it is. We only have two more pages left. Earth has only one moon. It appears large and bright in the night sky. Astronaut first walk astronauts first walked on the moon more than forty years ago. They left fruit bins in the dirt. There's no weather on the moon to wash or blow them away. The footprints are still there. Yeah, we actually got, actually, we have one more page after. Actually, actually, two more pages after this page, Jeez. Scientists have many ways of studying planets. One is to visit them humans. Humans can can't visit other planets yet, but we can send robots to explore them for us. Robots called rovers have been sent to Mars. The rovers carry cameras and tools. They can take photographs and videos too. The rovers can is, ro the rovers send information back to Earth. <coughs> about what they see. I have two more pages left. Space probes also collect information about planets. These spacecraft take pictures. They measure and light, light and temperature too. If these tools Scientists make exciting discoveries about our other worlds. We, we, what will we learn next time? So that is the end of the book. I hope you liked the book. So we know that we know about the solar system. We know about everything in, in the planet. So, yeah, it, we're done for today. Hope you like this video. Make sure you just smash that like button. And I'll see you next time. Bye. And did I mention that I have to subscribe? Please subscribe.